It was back in June that we first brought you the story of Old Quarry Ocean Adventure and its uncertain future. Old Quarry is a campground in Stonington that has been offering visitors access to 60 remote islands off the coast of Maine for the last 20 years. It's been a staple in the community, drawing adventurers of all levels from all over the world, and now it will be no longer. 207's Beth McAvoy has that story. Those little islands right out here, they're just beautiful. I live here, I work here, this is my life, this is what I do, it, it, it's what I was meant to do. But not anymore. Over the past two decades, Bill Baker. Captain Bill, as he's known has built a thriving business on the coast of Stonington. I was like put here, you know, by my higher power maybe, to do this and to bring joy and happiness to thousands of people. Old Quarry Ocean Adventure was not just a campground perched on eight and a half acres of pristine shoreline. Stand up paddle boarders, canoes, kayaks, we rent sailboats sailboat lessons, you know, kayak overnights, half days, rentals, guided trips. Basically everything I could think of over the 22 year period, what could we do? It was a place where anyone, regardless of skill, could have a once in a lifetime experience. He offers this set of opportunities and he also sort of empowers people. He teaches people how to kayak. He teaches the guides how to work around here. So he brings so much to um, the concept of getting out to those islands. Bill offered more than 12,000 visitors a year unfettered access to explore a large group of islands, and now that access Whoa. is lost. People call it all sorts of things, but it's an archipelago of about 60 islands that is framed by Ilaho and Stonington. An archipelago is a group of islands. You can get to 60 islands in, within a, about a two-hour paddle. It is a world-class place. One of the arguably best paddling areas for kayakers and, and sailors on the eastern seaboard of the entire United States. Paul Foster Moore has been visiting Old Quarry for the last 15 years and has become a friend to Bill. He's a legend known throughout the area. I thought I would live and die here. The on the other uh, side. I thought that there'd be no school. retirement. Mm -hmm. No one ever said it would be easy. Yeah. But last summer in his exactly. 21st season, that changed. I was getting headaches every single day. Bill got a CAT scan. He even saw a psychiatrist. I think this is stress, I think, but I wasn't sure. And so as, then somebody told me, you know, as we get older, we can't deal with the same stuff like we used to when we're younger. It's harder to deal with, with things. And I said, aha. That makes sense. Within a few days of closing up for the season, Bill says the headache stopped. I just said, I, you know, I got to sell. I can't do this. It's not healthy. That was not an easy decision. Fearing what would be lost. There's always that possibility that the new owner may just make it into a McMansion and close it to the public. And as we all know, once that, once this is gone, it's gone forever. Bill called a meeting last fall with state officials, land trusts, and other agencies to see if they could help preserve what he's started. Maine has had such a long tradition of so many of the different uses tied to water being given by permission. Siona Ulbrick of the Maine Coast Heritage Trust was there. People have been able to get to the water to fish or to just recreate or to walk on the beach thanks to generous landowners allowing that, sort of a, a heritage of it. And that's changing because of the pressure on coastal land and the prices of coastal land. Hard to believe that an island town would have limited access to the water, but in Deer Isle, there are only two public access points. Stonington, only three, including Bill's campground. So many entities have spent years trying to work with landowners, because most of those are privately owned, um, to make sure that set of islands keep looking the way it does mostly and has a lot of the islands available for the public to go visit. At the beginning of August, Old Quarry Adventure was sold to a man from New York for reportedly under $2 million. He did not buy the business. Bill Baker and his staff at Old Quarry tell me they're extremely sad. Everybody's like, yeah, Bill, it's, you know, this is awesome. It's amazing. Everybody loves it. We know, we know how good and important it is, but none of them could, uh, it, you know, I guess get the courage or whatever to, to, to belly up and, and to save it. That 
lack of being able to give that time makes it nigh impossible for nonprofits to pull together with a solution to such a complex problem. So we all tried hard. So I was really disappointed. That hurts <laughs> because there's a lot of, you know, a lot of calories and a lot of energy that went into making this place. A blow to the paddling community and the town. Stonington can use the business. Every paddler and every family that shows up shows up with a visa card and they use them. Bill sent out a letter delivering the sad news to his patrons. The response, he says, has been overwhelming. So when I started this, I, I never thought that people would thank me for providing ocean access, being here, existing. I, and I hear it literally once a week or more often. Our best memories, our best vacations are from old Quarry Ocean Adventures. Thank you for having this wonderful campground. Well, I almost want to cry when I read some of those emails. It's like, ugh, and I can't do anything about it. The sale of the land at Old Quarry Ocean Adventures was finalized two weeks ago. In spite of Bill B Baker being disappointed at how things worked out, our Beth, he tells our Beth McAvoy that he does feel a sense of relief and he is enjoying his retirement.